I started training in, uh, when I was 13 years old. I'm 52 now. I've been striking my whole life. I hold high level black belts and at least five martial arts. I can tell you, blocking doesn't happen for real. What happens is this. But this, whew, we can do because we want to prevent damage to the computer. That's all that matters is don't let them knock you out. Not stopping their punch. Don't let them knock you down to the floor. Because once you hit the floor, they're going to start stomping on your head. And if you look at the FBI statistics, hands and feet kill a lot of people every year. All right. So you are an armed citizen who cannot be knocked to the ground because you've got a gun on you and you're laying on your back and there's no rules. Nobody's going to stop. So what we want to do is put this up. Now the other thing we want to do is move forward if we can and engage him. Remember, a striking competition is always voluntary. Okay? If Jared and I are here, and Jared's a really good striker, All right, you and I are going to throw some punches. Ready? Go. <laughs> he can't do it with me because I'm gone. It was voluntary at that point. All right. All right. If there's no ring, there's no cage, there's no ref, I don't have to stay. I can leave. But most men can't do that. All right. 